So yeah, North Korea test fired a nuclear warhead recently. It's been confirmed, it happened, all this, right? Here in Japan, of course, Shinzo Abe, current Prime Minister of Japan, came out wanting tougher new sanctions. Although I don't know what more sanctions you could place on the DPRK without further inducing starvation and economic hardship on the common people. So I don't really know what type of sanction he's talking about. Now on one hand, we know why North Korea is doing this. It's because, you know, in the world, having nukes means you don't get invaded. You don't get attacked. Everybody knows that. Nukes equal the imperialists don't try to attack you. Because you got nuclear weapons. You got nuclear technology. You could do anything to create horrible, massive destruction very easily. So I know why they're doing that. They're really not they really don't have a choice. But on the other hand, isn't it just a little tragic that that's the only route that the DPRK has left to get countries off their back, to get countries from trying to attack them and circle the wagons around them? It's sad that we still have this thing in the world with, with nuclear energy, nuclear technology, nuclear weapons that we use it to scare each other, to intimidate each other, to so-called keep the peace through the threat of mass destruction. That's not good for us humans to treat each other that way. It's not good to have that type of attitude towards each other that, you know, we look at each other and go, you know, you shouldn't, don't attack us because we have nukes. Come on. It's really tragic that this is what the DPRK has been forced into. And all of us should really think about this when we deal with our own governments, our own leaders. And before we, you know, scream and shout that the North has nukes, oh no, we have to put more sanctions, we have to be tougher against them. Before we start doing all that, let's look at the big issue of why do we use nuclear technology in any way, shape, or form to scare off the rest of the world? And why don't we instead talk to each other like human beings, instead of threatening each other, this awful, awful thing called nuclear technology?